with Layla. You can follow me on youtube.com Lose with Layla. I also have a Facebook page you can check out where I usually announce or post content that I just uploaded. And uh, you can also follow me on Twitter or Instagram. All my hands are Lucid Lena. So today I would like to talk a little bit about nightmares. And that is because I feel they're very connected to lucid dreaming. I myself suffered a lot of nightmares throughout my whole life and for everybody it's different, right? There's different degrees of cruelty or horror and nightmares. Some nightmares, there might be only about going back to school, which can be a pretty horrifying experience if it was really (laughs) exhausting for you, whereas others you dream, you know, that a dead person haunts you or you see demons or one of your beloved family members gets into a car accident and I must say like as a child I think I had way more nightmares than now partly maybe because you know we are afraid as children of things that don't exist, like monsters underneath the bed, etc. I think for me it was big time also because as a child I did I did not like being a child so much because I'm a person who really needs her freedom and to be in charge of her own life. And as a child, unfortunately, you know, that's not the case. As a child, we depend too much on our parents to provide us with resources and directions and not in any case is that direction or guidance always well informed so nightmares kind of declined over time for me but I do get them from time to time Uh, most of the time I would say 70% there are these annoying dreams I wouldn't really call them nightmares you say oh I had a nightmare of I you know I failed a test or I had to go back to school but really it's not one of those horrifying nightmares that's about 70% of my nightmares then there's this category like personal where it really hits you very hard if for example I love my grandma And uh, when I dream something would happen to her, that's just, I wake up sweating. I wake up in terror and horror about that scenario. And then there's these really weird, creepy dreams that we still have sometimes. I get a lot of jump scare nightmares, which is extremely nasty. It's almost like you feel like you jump out of the dream. Like you literally jolt yourself up. Um, there's these weird kind of explosion dreams that I have where I have a lot of um, apocalyptic dreams actually about, you know, the world going down and stuff like that and I always hope that it's not a precognitive dream whatsoever and somewhere in those dreams there's a lot of atomic bombs exploding and it's crazy if you think about it obviously I've never witnessed an atomic bomb exploding like where it happened and I have no clue how it feels or how it how it sounds and you would think well how how is your brain going to simulate that in any way it's it's not going to make any sense but in the dream the intensity of the explosion the bang the pressure on your face and your whole body like I literally had a lot of dreams where it literally wiped me out and the, I guess, intensity of the bang, like in terms of loudness, was so damn loud. I swear it felt like it broke my uh, ears in the dream. That's crazy, right? I mean, it's just a simulation, it's just a thought, uh, a simulated reality at least from our understanding right now, who knows, maybe some scientist discovers that we actually alter a different 
universe or reality in the dreams but as of right now it's a thought but it's so well simulated it's unbelievable so those are some recurring nightmares um, with you know the world going under scenarios then I have a lot of ghost nightmares that feel kind of really real where there's an evil ghost or something like that in my house or within my family and we're all trying to fight it and even as I experience those things I'm thinking ah oh, this must be a dream but I, I don't know it just doesn't trigger my lucidity lately anymore it's just too much stuff going on to really pay enough attention honestly so those are interesting dreams with ghosts and supernatural occurrences there's this component of magic in the dream or in the nightmare and you feel the magic power <laughs> it's hard to explain but you literally feel there's a new element to it just like water fire this magic <laughs> and it happens and you can feel it you can sense it you can sense the magic happening it's a weird dream it's an experience that you don't have in waking life obviously even if you try to do a magic trick there wouldn't be such a thing as magic in the air at least I haven't experienced that that can be pretty scary and because it feels so real you really ask yourself what, what was that where is that coming from and how can I even build a reference when I'm experiencing something completely new like a new concept like real magic in a dream I, I really ask myself like how is the brain able to create a little sensation like a physical sensation in terms of smell, touch, um, acoustics that we don't have any real reference to. I mean, we see movies and we see people performing magic and maybe there's some visual effects where, I don't know, it blows their hair up, you know, and there's wind occurring along with magic or it looks like this heat if someone's, I don't know, forming a ball of magic or energy. But, um, yeah, I really wonder how the brain works, how we're able to put a 2D simulation, essentially, a 2D visual simulation of a movie into a 5D, <laughs> five senses, all-around simulation in the brain that feels so real. Anyways, I would be really interested to hear what kind of concepts did you experience in dreams where there's no reference to it in real life? It could also be, you know, being in outer space and just floating. You know, I have experienced that and obviously I haven't experienced that in real life, but it feels amazing. <laughs> um, flying would be another thing, obviously. Things like that, dying, turning into a non-physical entity like when you die or just floating without a mass I'd be really interested to see what was your favorite experience like that or most interesting one and what are your thoughts on that how do you think the brain works to make up these sensations and do you think it's really just a thought or a simulation or do you think maybe the human psyche is more complex than that and we actually enter into a different realm to experience these things because I for sure had enough dreams that were so specific where I saw things happening that happened the exact same way one good example would be uh, my video um scary precognitive dream <laughs> that was for Christmas when I literally 
six months before Christmas, I had a dream what my mom exactly would say for Christmas. It was related to restricting salmon. <laughs> and it happened the exact same way. And that was not the only thing, by the way, that was in the dream. Yeah, it would be really interesting to see what experiences you guys have. Also, let me know what you'd like to hear on the next podcast. I'm trying to cover the most common topics first to have a good baseline and then go a little bit more exclusive from there. Also, one of my friends, Nikki Ellis, he's a dream artist, if you will. Check his website out. He uh, is a very avid lucid dreamer and he wanted to be part of the podcast too. So hopefully soon, maybe in two weeks or so, I'll have him on the podcast and he can share some of his cool dreams with you guys and uh, you guys should let me know if that's something you're looking forward to or whether you want to keep it simple if you haven't already hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to stay tuned and i'll see you in the next podcast bye bye